Hello and welcome to this edition of Wide Orbit's Widen Your World. This is the third video in our series on group voice tracking. In this video, we will be covering the scheduling of group voice tracks and the recording of group voice tracks. The way the voice tracks will be added to the music schedule will depend on the program you're using to schedule your music. Regardless of the program, the export should be the same. The key elements we are going to need to have present are your category should represent the group voice track category for the local market the playlist is being generated for. The prefix will need to be set for the voice track. JN or join none, the track will not be linked to the pre-cut or the post-cut. JB or join both, the track will be linked to both the pre-cut and the post-cut. JU or join up, where the track will be linked only to the pre-cut. Or JD or join down, where the track will be linked to the post-cut. When a voice track is linked to a pre-cut or a post-cut, the system will not play the file if the linked element is not present. It is for this reason that we suggest scheduling the group voice tracks using the JN or join none command in situations where the playlists may not be the same. To schedule group voice tracks in your music playlist, the title field for the track must contain information regarding the group that is being voice tracked for. This group name will need to match exactly the group that you have configured in previous steps when setting up the groups in the central server configuration. The title field must include in parentheses, group equals, and the name of the group in quotes. When working with playlists that are not identical, there are some behaviors you should be aware of. If the pre-cut is not the same, the voice track in the market will start at the EOM of the pre-cut that is present. If the post-cut is different, the voice track will be treated as a VP or vocal protect element. This means the EOM of the voice track will be calculated based on the intro length of the post-cut that is in the schedule. The process for recording group voice tracks is very similar to recording a regular voice track. Start by using the Universal Radio Client to connect to the market you will be originating the tracks from. Open the playlist and select the first voice track, then click Edit Voice Track. Your voice track will open into the voice track widget. You will notice that under the voice track, all of the markets that are part of the group will be listed. From this list, you will be able to select the market or markets you would like to send the track to. We'll start by hitting select all. All of the markets will be highlighted. Continue with your voice tracking process as you normally would with four clicks of the start button. When you have completed the process, note that all of the markets show the modified time, date, and duration. If you click the next button to advance to the next track, this track will be saved and sent to all of the markets through Friendship Server, and the next track will be loaded into the widget. Group voice tracking will also allow for you to record a different track for each market if desired. We'll select Dallas and Detroit for this next track, and we'll go through the recording process. When completed, go back and select only the San Francisco market and go through the recording process again. Note the difference in modified times as well as the difference in durations. Saving this track will send two different versions of the track to the proper market. With these steps, you've now completed the configuration and setup of group voice tracking. If you have any questions regarding this video, please reach out to our support team at ras at wideorbit.com or give us a call at 415-675-6775, option 4.